rock music, rich storytelling, a star-studded cast. However, in the span of one year, the Dynamic Chord franchise hit rock bottom. And when barely anyone believed the franchise would recover from it, their fans gave it a second chance. It's Redemption Arc. Welcome to a guide to Dynamic Chord. What is Dynamic Chord? Dynamic Chord is a mixed media project launched in 2014 by Honey Bee Black and Asgard that kicked off with visual novels, sooner branched out to drama CDs and then to music releases, manga, anime, a smartphone game and even a stage play. Story The Dynamic Chord franchise has always had its strongest point in its storytelling. There are four main visual novels, one for each band, and the focus is strong on an overarching band story and the individual stories for each character. The story is explored in the visual novels, drama tracks accompanying music CDs and, to some extent, the anime adaptation. Dynamic Chord's overarching story covers the four bands, how they came to be, bonds between members and interactions with other bands in the franchise, their individual struggles as songwriters, their passions that influence their music, past traumas and ultimately the teamwork that makes all bands rise to the occasion, time and time again. In a way, the stories in Dynamic Chord are human ones. It's more than the glitter of being a rock star but more about what shapes each individual behind that mask of a rock star. Games There are four main games, the same amount of fan discs, or as the franchise names those, append discs, and there was at one point a smartphone game. The experiences couldn't be more polarizing. The dynamic chord visual novels were rich in storytelling and were quite lengthy to play. The smartphone game was essentially idle farming, with none of the original games' quality and little replayability. The visual novel games The Dynamic Chord franchise is still best known for its visual novels. Each character had at least 6 to 10 hours of story in their routes, and all routes were fully voiced by a star-studded Seiyu cast. Yes, these were otome visual novels focused on romance. There were four visual novels released from 2014 to 2016. Those were later ported to PS Vita. Additionally, there were four appendices released that added a new route to all games. In all games, you, the player, start the game at a different point and with a unique character. Each main player character had its story, experiences and ambitions. In some cases, the player character had a strong, driven personality that made you root for her. In others, inexperience made you rage with some of the character's decisions. As far as storytelling goes, your player character wasn't an empty slate, it had individuality and your choices added the missing bits of personality to it. The Smartphone Game Dynamic Chord Jam & Join was launched in August 2018 and stopped distribution in April 2019. This was not an adaptation of the visual novels to smartphone format, something that some fans wished, nor a rhythm game like other fans wished. It was an idle farming game. Its gameplay mixed A3's missions and training with Cake & Phrase's dull presentation. As a result, fans saw the franchise being stripped away from its focus in the joy and excitement of rock music, one of the biggest selling points of the Dynamic Chord franchise, as well as their traditional romance elements. Dynamic Chord Jam & Join was basically a whole new game, with the same old characters, barely any story and voice acting, and a ton of technical issues and gacha-driven gameplay. For Dynamic Chord Jam & Join, Asgard and Honey Bee Black chose all the good things about the Dynamic Chord franchise and threw those away. After the poor anime adaptation that left the franchise as the laughing stock of 2017, the clumsy smartphone game that launched in 2018 and ended distribution 9 months later put the final nail in the coffin. 
Nippon Columbia dropped the franchise from their artist distribution roster in 2019. The Dynamic Chord franchise had hit its all-time low. There was no way the Dynamic Chord franchise could come back from all this. Well, stick around because there's a redemption arc to this story. The Anime Adaptation The franchise has four main games with four different player characters. And the story is all about romance, with music being the connecting thread between bands and characters. It's safe to say that it was not going to be easy to adapt all the source material into just one anime season. Many people were hoping Asgard and Honey Bee Black would adapt each game into a season, with only the canon romances being addressed for each band. This sounded like a genuinely good idea and seemed like the best way to respect the original material and, in a way, adapt it for fans of the franchise, but also make it appealing and accessible to newcomers. However, the Dynamic Chord franchise was getting an anime adaptation that would start after the timelines of all four games, had no player character, put the music in the backseat, and created a whole new story that made longtime fans a whole lot frustrated with it, and newcomers found themselves not even understanding what was going on, nor why would this franchise be worthy of an anime adaptation when the anime story was so badly written, not to mention the poor animation that plagued it. Just what did they do to you, Kuro? Why? Stripped away from all the things the franchise was known for and with the story left to the devices of a writer that had nothing to do with the original content, Dynamic Chords anime adaptation was a husk of the quality and drama the franchise was known for. The anime adaptation was strongly criticized domestically and overseas. It didn't flatter Dynamic Chord, its original writers, character designer and voice actors. It was the beginning of the franchise's downfall. The main cast Dynamic Chord kicked off its activities in 2014 with a cast that mixed experience with new, up-and-coming Seiyu talents. There was some care to have the frontman for each band sounding unique and fit the style of the respective band. Takuya Gucci, Takuma Terashima, Shotawoi and Shotaro Morikubu gave a voice to the bands they front, having managed over the years to deliver impressive performances filled with emotion, either made for the dance floor or the mosh pit. The cast counts as well with Takahiro Sakurai, Kosuke Toriyomi, Ryohei Kimura, Nobuhiko Okamoto and Tetsuya Kakihara say you that in 2014 were the biggest names joining this franchise. At the same time, the young talent that joined would end up developing into stars and others would get to grow from rookies into up-and-coming stars. I'm talking about Yuichiro Umehara, Soma Saito, Kaito Ishikawa, Shinosuke Tachibana, Taku Yashiro, Yoshiki Nakajima and Yuya Hirose. Right now, Dynamic Chord has a strong and star-studded cast. The Bands the Dynamic Chord franchise is big on having each band with a unique identity, sound and vibe. Pop punk, emo rock, electro rock and hard rock got to shine in 2014 through crafty compositions and passionate performances by all four frontmen. Rev Parfait Rev Parfait consists of Reon, Tsumugi, Kwon and Aki. They are the energetic power pop punk pop band in the franchise. Expect the unexpected with their music. Takuya Gucci voices Rev Parfait's arrogant and moody frontman Reon Kashi or King. Yuya Hirose voices Rev Parfait's gentle and carefree drummer Aki Kashi or Knight and Reon's older brother. Hyohei Kimura voices Rev Parfait's sharp-tongued bassist Tsumugi Momose or Bishop. Kosuke Toriyumi voices Rev Parfait's guitarist and caring leader Kuon Tsukinohara or Rook. Liars Liars consists of Sakura, Chia, Seri and Sotaro. The band is known for its slow-paced emo rock sound. Takuma Terashima voices Liars' taciturn frontman and guitarist 
Sakura Hinoyama. Nobuhiko Okamoto voices Liarzis, resident tsundere guitarist and composer Chia Suzuno. Tetsuya Kakihara voices Seri Wisaki, Liarzis' influential leader and drummer. Despite his high status and good manners, is quite possibly that character you'd want to avoid in private. Soma Saito voices Liarzis' friendly jokester and resident older sister and bassist Sotaro Haruna. Kyoso. Kyoso consists of Yorito, Tokiharu, Yu, and Shinomune. They don a mature, dangerous, and more aggressive sound than all other bands in the franchise. Shotaro Morikubu voices Kyoso's charismatic and free-spirited frontman Yorito Kisaka. Shinosuke Tachibana voices Kyoso's mature and reliable leader and guitarist Tokiharu Hanabusa. Kaito Ishikawa voices Kyoso's complex and quiet bassist Yu Kuroya. And Takuyashiru voices Kyoso's kind and grounded drummer Shinomune Sumia. Apple Polisher Apple Polisher consists of Narumi, Shinobu, Yuki and Yusei. The band is known for its unique brand of rock, mixing rock with minimalistic electronica and R&B. Shotawoi voices Apple Polisher's angelic frontman Narumi Amagi, or NAL. Yoshiki Nakajima voices Apple Polisher's guitarist, composer and resident sly womanizer Yuki Aoi, or UK. Yuichiro Umehara voices Apple Polisher's kind and taciturn leader and bassist Shinobu Kurosawa, or Kuro. Takahiro Sakurai voices Apple Polisher's carefree and mischievous drummer Yusei Otoishi, or Toy. Shuffle Bands Up until 2021, the Dynamic Chord franchise counts with two seasons of Shuffle Bands and those only released one single. Those included Rabbit Clan with the single Sweet Dreams, Kicks with the single Believe in You, Believe in Me, Tame Lily with the single Pinky Lily no Saku Koroni, Tries with the single Try to Rise, Hino Yamatai with the single Rock with You, Sugar Toxic Panic with the single Lock You Up, and Mr. Perfect with the self titled single Mr. Perfect. Frontman Dynamic Chord has a stellar lineup, and that starts with the frontman for all its bands. All vocals fit the styles they are performing, leading to natural performances filled with a unique flair. Takuya Eguchi Takuya Eguchi is known in the seiyuu industry as a vocal chameleon. He can pretty much sing high, low or anything in between in his vocal range, as well as adapt his voice to every character he performs as. When he joined the Dynamic Chord franchise, he was still far from being considered a good singer, but he certainly brought a lot of skills to the mix that helped his performances as Reon stand out. After years active with the seiyuu unit Trignal, Takuyaguchi made his solo debut in 2021, adding singer to his resume. Takuma Terashima Takuma Terashima was one of the highest rated names when he joined the Dynamic Chord franchise. He brought the hype from Utapri, franchise that he is a face of, and a lot of experience from his solo career as well, for his performances as Liars' Sakura. Terashima has a solid mid-range, but is not consistent, especially noticeable in a live setting, oscillating between impressive and lacking depending on how he is feeling. He brought to Liars a certain sadness and longing that fleshed out the band's performances in ways that people weren't expecting. Shotaro Morikubu When you think about a rock star among male seiyuu, there's only one name that instantly comes to mind. Shotaro Morikubu. He's the embodiment of a rock star and has a natural charisma on stage that really make him hard not to focus on. Vastly experienced as a singer and also bringing a bit of popularity from Utapri with him to this project, Shotaro Morikubu easily proved himself as one of the best singers in this franchise. As Yorito, Morikubo's performances carry a bit of grit, a unique rawness that reminds me a lot about Hyde. At times it's noticeable how much inspiration it took from Hyde to shape Yorito's singing style. Shotawoi 
Shotawa is a renowned solo artist, actor and voice actor. He is vastly experienced when it comes to singing, being considered by many as one of the best singers among male seiyu. When he joined the franchise, he just started to experience the popularity in the Uta Pri franchise as part of Quartet Night. Aoi is an all-rounder with a voice tone often dubbed as angelic, with his high notes being an awesome greeting card. He's got a vast array of skills under his belt, including an ethereal, crystal-clear falsetto that always elevates his performances. In a live setting, Aoi sounds like he eats CDs for breakfast. As Narumi, Aoi had to tackle a lot of English in the lyrics, performing it with a rather clear pronunciation while giving it a slightly suggestive twist at times, matching the band's unique sound. Dynamic Chords Music – A Quick Analysis Now, this is not an extensive analysis, as you can tell by the title of this section, so I won't be covering all releases by each band. A note that despite all bands having star-studded lineups, only the frontmen sing in this franchise. There are no character or individual songs, just band songs. For purposes of this video, I'll cover one iconic song by each band. For other reviews and extended talk about some of the songs in the repertoires of each band, I welcome you to visit the links in the description. Def Parfait they are the energetic power-pop band in the franchise. They are far from being considered a conventional rock band. Their sound has shades of Asian Kung Fu Generation and Kanabun. A song that best illustrates the band's sound is Judgment. Judgment is a banger, one of Rev Parfait's most iconic and grooviest songs. The bassline is massive in this track, with the guitars bringing a bit of a funky flair into the mix. The drums are raw and loud, powering their way through to the fast-paced pop-punk chorus. The little details in this song are a delight to listen to, from the brief intermission between chorus and verses, to those punchy bassline accents and even the drum feels. This song shines in its details. On the vocal end, Taku Yeguchi delivered a performance that required speed and precision. There are multiple tempo changes in the song, with the tension jumping at all the unexpected places, keeping the listener on their toes. There are some influences of Brit rock and emo rock, keeping this track interesting. Liars the band is known for its slow-paced emo rock sound. Their sound has shades of Bluebird, Malegot and Wrong Scale. A song that best illustrates the band's sound is Stella. Stella is that kind of song made to tug your heartstrings. The loneliness in this song is strong, being easily felt in the stripped-down intro and carrying over with Takuma Terashima's forlorn performance extremely close to you.
The acoustic guitars almost lullaby the listener, but what impresses the most in this song is how raw its chorus is. <laughs> Bringing overdriven guitars to the spotlight while drums wash away your sadness. This is a textbook emo rock track with some shades of Brit rock to it. Kyoso. They don a mature, dangerous, and more aggressive sound than all other bands in the franchise. Their sound has shades of Hyde, Vamps, and Larkansiel. Yes, everything with Hyde in it. A song that best illustrates the band's sound is X Maniac. X Maniac was quite the impressive debut song for Kyoso, showing everyone what their sound was all about. Hard hitting rock with an industrial edge. Glitchy scenes coexist with dirty guitar riffs, a slow paced bassline, and powerful drums. The chorus is performed by Shotaro Morikubu, emulating Hyde's style and overflowing with charisma. <laughs> Slowing down while opening the sound to other melodies that bring a bit of color to an otherwise dark song. The melodic guitar work is easily the best part of Kyoso's sound as a whole, and in this song it does not disappoint. The solo in the bridge is absolutely delightful to listen to, going on for quite a bit of time while flaunting how good it sounds. For bass heads, the bass line is massive, starting from the second verse, standing out in the middle of the splashy drums and the low guitar riffs. Apple Polisher The band is known for its unique brand of rock mixed with minimalistic electronica and R&B. The band is really unique, so there's really no band out there with the sound close to it. A song that best illustrates the band's sound is Holding Out. Holding Out is easily the band's best song to date. This is the song in which all of the band's influences have the spotlight. The rock in those guitar riffs accentuating the performance, the minimalistic, almost ethereal electronica in those synths, and synthetic drums, as well as the R&B influences in the lyrics and emotional performance by Shotawoi. Where do you 
This song will instantly stand out for its down-tempo and dreamy vibe and that suggestive, alluring tone in the lyrics leaves a mark. If you're into loungy dance music with a touch of rock and emotional yet simple lyrics, this is the song for you. The Live Shows The Dynamic Chord franchise held a couple of live shows with its cast in attendance. The first live was Dynamic Chord No Limit Live 2015 and all cast at that time, minus Apple Polisher, was in attendance for its talk parts. The second live was Dynamic Chord No Limit Vocal Live 2017 and only featured Takuya Guchi, Takuma Terashima, Shotawai and Shotaro Morikubo. The third time the cast hop on stage to meet their fans was at Dynamic Chord Premium Fan Meeting 2018. This wasn't a full live show, but a talk plus mini live event. The Rise and Fall The journey hasn't been kind to Dynamic Chord. What was once one of the most exciting 2D rock franchises has managed to fall from grace. It had everything to still be a top tier 2D rock music project. But what happened that led this project to actually fall that low and is now struggling to get back on its feet? A bad anime adaptation and an equally underwhelming smartphone game release. All in the span of one year happened. And that was enough for Nippon Columbia to cut ties with the franchise. Thus, the long silence from the franchise following these three unfortunate events. A new beginning. It seemed like the original creators, Honeybee Black and Asgard, were adamant about not letting the project die in front of them. And thus, they decided to try to see if there were any fans of the project left and among those who were willing to support the project should it continue. And what better way to do it than to take the project to a crowdfunding platform? That's what Honeybee Black did with the objective of releasing a new CD for each of their bands in 2021. And fans were more than willing to have their beloved project back for more. The crowdfunding campaign for those CDs went 527% over the initial goal, giving a second chance to Dynamic Chord. Honeybee Black then founded its music label, now being in charge of exclusively distributing the new catalog for all bands. And thus, the project started to fight to get back on its feet and regain the trust of the public at the same time as bringing a lot of nostalgia back. Ref Parfait, Liars, Apple Polisher and Kyoso made their comeback in 2021 after two years away from the public eye, signaling a new era for the franchise, this time around in a mix of being crowdfunded and self-sufficient, thanks to the profits from sales and surplus of money from the first crowdfunding campaign back in 2020. Why should you check Dynamic Chord and its bands? While this may not be the strongest 2D rock music project out there, it sure is the one that has the most complete story or backstory and that can be enjoyed through high-quality, sometimes even pretty long, visual novel games. Storytelling is its greeting card and the music will make you want to stick around. Casual fans of rock and pop will find rock music explored in completely different ways. You have Apple Polisher's danceable electro rock with hints of R&B which is not only a unique sound but also extremely easy on the ears of newcomers to rock music. Then if you get comfortable with rock music and don't mind it to be slow yet incredibly emotional, Liars will be awesome to check. They perform emo rock with a lot of post-punk and post-rock influences that slow down the tempo in their songs, making those almost sound like lullabies when their music is actually quite powerful. If you get into the groove and want something faster paced, Rev Parfait will be the thing for you. Their pop-punk sound may sound weird at first, but the more you listen, the crazier it sounds, but also the more entertaining it gets. 
Now, if you want a mature rock sound with an alluring edge to it while being extremely aggressive, Kyoso is the band for you. Despite the violent bass lines, the band actually has a really melodic and emotional side that is presented most of the times in a raw state. Their guitar work is off the charts, so if you're into good, long guitar solos packed with emotion, Kyoso will definitely be an awesome band to check out. While Dynamic Chord may not be the strongest project in comparison with Fly Me Project, Bandia Rose, and much less with the extremely popular Dear Vocalist, it sure has pushed the boundaries of storytelling, creating a rich, well-developed backstory for all characters, having four unique bands within itself and a strong presentation when it comes to the music releases. This is a genuinely good project with a lot of quality, be it in the cast or the music, and I really hope those two stains in their otherwise spotless resume, the anime adaptation and smartphone game, don't make you stay on the fence about checking Dynamic Chord and its bands. Dynamic Chord went through hell and back after a streak of bad decisions. It hit rock bottom and it's now back on its feet, hopefully to return to its place among the best 2D rock music projects. Thanks for watching.